Is metformin really killing you? Metformin is the number one most prescribed anti-diabetic medication in the world. With that being said, so many people are on metformin and we use metformin not only for diabetes, but also for pre-diabetes, insulin resistance, PCOS, and other endocrine disorders, of course. So many people are on metformin because we use it for so many different things. Lately, there's been a lot of scare and a lot of talk about metformin use. I've been getting a lot of phone calls in the office demanding I take them off metformin immediately because of things they have read on the internet. So on today's episode here on The Voice of Diabetes, we're going to clear and we're going to learn everything about metformin. Does it really cause kidney disease? Does it really damage the liver? All your burning questions we're going to answer today. Before we do that, please consider subscribing to my channel. If you enjoy my content, share it with others and give this video a thumbs up. So let's get started. Does metformin cause kidney damage? This is a very common question and I'm not surprised that people actually correlate metformin with kidney damage. Why is this? Because oftentimes you may know someone who was taken off metformin because their kidney function is not great. What does that mean? You're on metformin, all of a sudden you come in for a regular checkup and we're monitoring your kidneys very closely as we should be. And then we say, you know what, we're going to discontinue metformin because your kidneys are not working properly. Of course, you would connect the two. I was on metformin, it caused the kidney damage, and now I have to be off metformin. That's actually not why we do that. What happens is we need the kidneys to filter out medications like metformin. If the kidneys are not working properly, it puts us at higher risk for side effects and things like lactic acidosis with metformin use, which is a pretty serious condition and can be life-threatening. For that reason, if the kidneys are not working properly, we have to take you off the metformin or we have to lower your dose of metformin because the kidneys can no longer do the job that they were once doing. For that reason, if your EGFR is less than 30, normally metformin use is contraindicated because you don't have the proper kidney function to actually use the, pro the medication safely. So it's very unlikely and there's actually no data to show that metformin harms the kidneys but we know that not having proper kidney function can actually harm you if you are on metformin. I hope that kind of makes it easier for you to understand. Does metformin cause liver damage? Unfortunately, this is also a very common myth. We know that some medications can be toxic to the liver. However, metformin is not one of them. In fact, there are some studies that actually show the liver enzymes improved with people who had fatty liver and were on metformin. So contrary to what is out there, Metformin is not known to damage the liver, and we do use it with patients safely. Is metformin bad for the heart? Unfortunately, that's also a very bad myth that scares people who are on metformin. To date, there's no evidence to show that. In fact, they did studies in the United Kingdom that actually showed people with diabetes who were on metformin had lower chance of cardiovascular events. A review of studies that have been done even more recent show that there's actually some benefit with metformin to the heart. Some studies show that there's no major benefit. For that reason, although there may not be any benefit to the heart from taking metformin, we definitely know that it's safe and it does not cause harm. Is metformin safe to use in pregnancy? Although the American Diabetes Association, the ADA, does not recommend metformin as first line for women who are pregnant, we can use metformin during pregnancy, especially during the first trimester. However, I try to rely on insulin mostly because we know the safety and the efficacy of insulin during pregnancy. However, metformin can be used. Of course, I'm not going to get into that detail today because I think that's not what the point of this video is. Does metformin cause cancer? Actually, no. There's no studies that show that metformin can cause cancer. In fact, there is actually studies that show that metformin use can reduce your chance of cancer by 10%. The types of cancer that metformin can reduce are things like breast cancer, colon cancer, liver, pancreatic, prostate, endometrium, and lung cancer. So it is safe to use and we don't have any data to support that metformin can cause cancer. However, there was a recall a few years ago on, on the extended release metformin and that was not due to metformin, it was a coating that was being used on metformin. However, since then, those are no longer being sold to patients, so they have been removed off the market. 
and that coding is no longer being used on that format. And it was not on all Matformans, it was only on the extended release. In conclusion, guys, Matformin is relatively a very safe medication. It's been around for a very long time, and we know that it's very effective. So before you go on stopping your Matformin, please make sure you contact your doctor and you let them know if you have any concerns because you wanna make sure that you're getting the correct information. We know that the internet is a very great place, but sometimes a lot of things can be posted there that are not accurate. So I would hate for you not to be on a good medication just because someone else may have had a negative experience with metformin. So please get all your facts, and if you have any questions, comment below. I'll see you guys on the next video.